Hello everyone, it's Karen Ankaval, still talking about the CFAT. This is video three out of four, and we're gonna be talking about spatial ability section of the test. So in this section, you have 15 questions and you have 10 minutes. And this is the section which involves folding and unfolding different 3D shapes. Um, and I'm gonna show you kind of some ways to work through it. I'm going to switch to my iPad view just to work through some practice questions that I got from armytest.com. I'm also going to print out the, um, the shapes from those questions and I'm going to show you how they actually fold up. So now we're on the iPad looking at the spatial ability section. Just to remind you, there's 15 questions which need to be completed in 10 minutes. So that means that you have to do more than one question per minute or in other words, you have less than one minute per question. Now this makes this section quite challenging because you need to fold and unfold 3D objects in your mind in order to answer the questions. So to explain what I mean by that, let's look at the first question here, which says, find the object that the pattern below can fold into. Fold into the screen away from you, okay? So basically what that means is that you're gonna fold everything backwards rather than folding everything towards you. So just to tell you what I mean, or just explain what I mean a bit better, if you were to look at this section here, if we were folding this away from you, then it would become something like this, right? Now, if we were to fold it towards you, which is incorrect, it would become something like this, right? So that would be like poking out of the screen towards you. All right, so just keep that in mind. Now with these types of questions, the first thing I like to do is eliminate any obviously incorrect options. So from looking at this, this option here kind of sticks out to me, okay? Because it has one, two, three blank faces, right? But our map, or our projection only has one, two blank faces. Therefore, this option is incorrect, okay? Now moving on, we can now look at other options. Look at the options individually. So now we're going to look at this first one here. So, we can look at how these two shapes are related, and that is through this connection here, so they're connected by an edge. And I'm looking at these two shapes because that's what makes this option different from these two options. Because these two options have the same, you know, square x, square x, or this one has square star. So that's why I'm using, um, this relationship to try and see if that's correct or incorrect, all right? So if we look at our map or projection here, we can see that if we look at where the square is and where the star is, these two do not share an edge. Share an edge. Okay, so I'm just gonna illustrate this by simply trying to draw this for you. So let's say that this is the blank one, that top face. And on the side here, you would have the square. And on the other side, you would have the star, okay? So there's a big space here, right? Clearly these two cannot share an edge unless it was like a triangle type of thing, right? Because then they would share this edge. But that's not what's happening, right? They need to be connected by a whole another face here. So therefore, this is not the right answer. Okay. So now we can look at these two options here. And what differentiates one from another? Well, it's this top face. This one has a circle and this one is blank. So let's figure out which one of those is correct by looking at the given projection. Now, if we were to fold this up so that we had a square and an X beside each other, that would mean we have to fold it along this edge, right? 
So let me just do that here. So we have the square here and then the X. And then this would be the top face, okay? So the top face would be blank. All right, so out of these two options, this one clearly has the blank top face and therefore it is the right answer, All right? So this one is incorrect. So moving on to the second question here. This one says, find the pattern that can be folded into the object below. Fold into the screen away from you. So same hint as before. And this is kind of the reverse of what we just did. So again, you want to start by eliminating or eliminate any obvious, obviously incorrect options. So how are we going to identify these incorrect options? Well, we can look at what is given to us here. So we are given a cube that has a circle, dot, and X on its faces. Therefore, our projection must have a circle, dot, and an X, right? So let me fix that. So that can be our first check. So let's go through and see to make sure that all of them have those three components. So looking at this one here, it does in fact have an X. It has a circle and it has a dot, so that's great. Next one has an X, has a circle, and has a dot, okay? Next one, circle, dot, X. Next one, circle, but no dot. Therefore, this one can be eliminated right away, all right? So that first step got us down to three options, which is great. So now what we want to do is look at each option. So out of the remaining three options, let's look at each of them. Now, one trick that I would use for this question is to identify that we should be folding each of the projections around the dot in order to receive this orientation after folding. So to show you what I mean, let's start with this one here and we're gonna fold it around this dot. So I'm gonna call this A, right, A here. I'm gonna start with that face. So I'm gonna put the dot right here and then I'm gonna fold the other things around it. So this would be the top face here. This would be the left-hand side face, which you can't see, so I'm just gonna draw like that. This would be the bottom. So again, right there, you can't see it. Then this would be the back. So this would be over here. And the right-hand side would be blank. So I'm gonna write B for blank. I'm just gonna say B equals blank. Okay. So clearly this option is incorrect, right? Because when you compare these two, the correct answer has a circle up here and an X right here. But the answer we came up with does not. All right. So moving on to the next one, I'm going to call this one B. B. And again, we're going to fold it around this dot. So starting with that dot there. Fix this side. So this is going to be the bottom. B for blank. This will be the right face. So this can be an X there. And then this will be the back face, okay? This one is gonna be the left face, it's over here. And then the circle here is gonna be on the top. Boom, like that. Now, we can compare these two and it's correct, right? So you have the X, the circle, and the dot, therefore, B, as I've called it, is the correct answer. So we can circle that. But for just practice sake, let's do the last one, which I will call C. So again, we're going to start with this dot and we're going to fold around it. So I'm going to start by drawing that dot. So this will be the bottom right here, X. 
that face. This would be the right hand side, E for blank. This X will be at the back. I'm gonna draw like that. This blank will be the left, which will be here, B for blank. And this circle will be on the top, like that. Right? Now, comparing them, so comparing the given box to the one that we came up with, we can see that in order for this to be the correct answer, we would need to have an X here, which we don't. So therefore, this answer is also incorrect. Okay? So moving on to our last question here, which says, find the object that the pattern below can be folded into. Now, looking at this might be a little intimidating, but this is a great example of a CFAT question because they are not all boxes that you're folding, okay? So this is a funky shape, but in fact, you may get something like this. So let's just go through this. So what we were doing before was we were trying to eliminate one right off the bat. So we were trying to look at these and say, which one doesn't belong here? But here, it's not obvious. It's not obvious. So we're going to move on to step two, which is to look at each of these options. And we're just going to see what similarities and differences they have. Okay. So each of them seems to have this shape, right? This shape, this shape this shape and they also all seem to have this square based pyramid okay so it's a compound shape per se so with that in mind I'm just going to erase these and let's start over here and try and fold it up just to see which one will match okay so I'm going to start with this section right here and fold it up just because I'm thinking of that as like the body and then this would be the top attachments and these would be the bottom attachments. So that's just how I'm splitting this up to make it a bit simpler. So if I were to fold this section up, I'm gonna get something that looks like, try and draw this here, something that looks like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to look at these triangles, which are on the top. All right. So, just by looking at this center piece, it's, the first triangle is connected by this face. So, that is right here. Just so you can follow what I'm doing here. So, I'm going to draw a triangle on here. Okay. This is going to be hard to see, but I'm going to try my best to explain it. Now this next triangle is going to be attached by this edge, which is this edge here. So you can't really see that, but I'm just going to draw the triangle. This triangle is going to be attached via these edges. So that will be one edge, which is here. It's going to be something like this. And it's also attached here, which you can see is right there. So that's in the right place. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to extend this part a bit. You'll see why in a second. But I don't want this to connect to the whole um, length of this shape because it doesn't connect to the whole length. So I'm just going to attach it to this part as a triangle. And then this triangle here is attached by this face, so it will just enclose the shape. So this is our pyramid, okay? Now I'm gonna look at this rectangular piece right here, which is attached to this piece. So that's why I need to extend that green piece because this blue piece will attach to the end of it. And go all the way across like that, it's a rectangle. Next, we can look at this purple shape, purple rectangle, and that's just attached to the bottom horizontal part of this piece, which is right here. And it's going to fold up across here. So that's going to be the bottom. And now we can look at this 
square here, which is attached to this slanted piece. So this is the slanted piece, and it's going to lay right across here. Now this is probably very hard for you to see. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of rotate the image, which will give you a better sense. So I'm going to rotate it that way. So I'm going to draw this slanted piece here. Sorry, I can't draw this straight apparently. <laughs> and then you're going to have the triangular pyramid up here. Um, I'm going to try and draw this in 3D actually. Yeah, just like that. Something like that. You get the idea. <laughs> So just to highlight what I'm saying is the triangular piece is here. Then we have the blue piece, which is this. We have the green piece, which is this. And you can also see the front piece from this view, which is right here. All right. So what does this look like? Well, it looks like this. So this is actually the correct answer, but I want to point out why the other ones are incorrect, okay? So um, if you look at this one, the triangular piece or the pyramid is up here, right? But it's attached to this edge. So if that were true, this triangular shape would have to be pulled to the front. Right? And it would have to be attached to the slanted edge, which it's not. So this would be correct if you pulled this back to this edge here. But right now, it's incorrect. For this one, the pyramid is attached to the like rectangular piece. Which means that it would have had to been attached to this rectangle here on all four sides like that, which it's not. Sorry, that's really hard to see. But that's why that one's incorrect. And this one shows the pyramid at the bottom, which means that it would have had to be attached to these pieces here and here and here in order to make that work. So that is also incorrect. So I hope that helped you guys understand how to do these problems. If you need more practice with these questions, as I've mentioned before, there's tons of practice questions at armytest.com. So feel free to check it out and thanks for watching. Okay, so I wanted a better way to show you guys, you know, how to actually visualize these things. And although you can't do this on a test, I thought I'd just put it in anyways. So the first one that we had was this, right? And if you remember, the answer to this question, number one, was this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it up and show you that you do get the right answer. All right. So I'm going to turn it so you can see that the X and the square align together like so. Boop, boop, boop. And you really do get that blank face on the top. So it's X square blank face, which was the answer. Okay. The second one gave you a cube that was this. And then this was the right answer. Okay? So I'm just going to fold this up and show you how this is the right answer. Starting with, let me turn around, starting with uh, this dot. So I'm going to make this the face. So I'm going to fold up the back. Fold, 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 fold. And what do we get? We get a dot, an X, and a circle on the top. Right? And that was the answer. Sorry, this is pretty low quality, but I think you can see what I'm saying. I have the dot, the X, and the circle. Now, the last one that was hard to visualize was this shape. And if you remember, the answer was this. So, I'm just going to fold this up, try my best to fold it up, and show you that we do, in fact, get that shape. So, I'm just going to fold this around. Fold the back up. Fold the base up. Okay, push that down. All right, so this is pretty rough, but you can see that you do, in fact, get that shape. 
the shape where that triangular square based pyramid was at the back at this edge right and then you have that little like slant here for the square is the bottom and this rectangle on the top which covers this little piece and this should be folded over but i can't get it to stay so yeah that proves to you that that is in fact the correct answer all right guys so i hope you enjoyed that video i hope you got some value from it um spatial ability is a bit tricky it's a bit fast just you know pace yourself keep an eye on the clock maybe find a way that works for you to think about these problems and just practice if you need lots of practice like i said armytest.com you guys already know um you can definitely get practice from there uh they also have like animations that fold up the cubes for you on a lot of their questions so that really helps you think about it if you are going to sign up with that program please use my link which is army-test.com forward slash kyra which is k-y-r-a that will help me a lot it will help support my channel keep these videos coming for you guys as always guys if you got value from this video please like comment any questions or concerns and subscribe got lots more coming for you guys and happy happy holidays <laughs>